Hi, this is Ed Beck from SUNY Oneana. I'm an open and online learning specialist, and I just wanted to share our setup for our institution homepage, and then also what our courses look like. We tried to keep our taskbar short at the top, and we have a link back to our My Oneana portal. That's our portal that has access to every resource that's available to students and faculty at Oneonta. We also made a short list that we separate out and called Oneonta Resources, where we tried to just come up with what are the most the most useful items that students might need to get to from this screen. We point them back to our email and Microsoft 365 system our Milne library and that those catalogs and collections, and then also the IT service desk where they can go in and get help if they're having any troubles in Brightspace. Beyond those Oneana resources, we also have a um, uh, asynchronous guides that students can look at for students, for instructors, and then a link to the SUNY online help desk and the system check so that we can um, uh, start to use that. One thing that we're beginning to use, and it's still in its piloting stage, is we're using the Discover tool as a place to share courses that touch across the institution. For example, um, there might be library resources that might be utilized in multiple classes, and we want students to be able to find those and self-enroll in those classes. Beyond that, if I scroll down on the screen a little bit, what we're looking at is I've got, we've got the standard My Courses um, uh, block, but we've also added the email check block to deal with issues that we've been having where students are getting emails to past or defunct email addresses. We have been able to drive a lot of tickets to the SUNY Online Help Desk by having that in there, though we're still concerned about that email issue. Then we also have the area for campus-wide announcements, but we're really not using this page as a um, communication platform because we have other ways to send out campus announcements um, to uh, students, faculty, and staff. If we go into a single course, I'm going to show a course that I taught in the past. On our course landing page, the way we've we've organized it is we have the link to the content home and our content, and then we added all of the course activities in a drop down here. And we just tried to prioritize the ones that we thought were most likely to be used. So we have assignments, discussions, quizzes, surveys, and checklists. We chose, for example, not to put um, LTIs in this drop-down menu. That is not something that we, we surface to every learner. We made a grades drop-down, and I'm looking at it as a student right now, and here you see class project and grades. It's, if I return to my normal role and look at this as an instructor, I actually have three under grades, class progress, grades, and then a shortcut to that quick avail screen. Under course tools, we have other Brightspace tools, usually the ones that are more non-graded, things like the calendar, the class list groups. So you'll notice that we made a decision here to kind of separate between course activities and course tools. And then we also have that link to the course admin screen where they can, of course, see everything. Again, we've repeat, repeated our Oneonta resources, so that's available from within courses. And then we also have the Brightspace resources, which is the same as from that um, uh, central page, which is the guides for students, guides for instructor, how to get help with the SUNY online help desk and our system check. Looking at our page, we use the SLIM announcements widget. We use the visual table of contents, and we have the what to do in calendar at the bottom.